All right, and now uh, this brings us to another example. It's example four, elliptic para uh, paraboloid. Paraboloid. All right, so in this one we're asked, use traces to sketch the surface z equals 4x uh, squared plus y squared, and so on. So if we put x equals 0 right here, uh, so put x equals 0, we're just going to get z equals y squared. So the y z plane intersects the surface in a plane. Yeah, so this is the y z plane. So there's a y, there's a z. Uh, intersect surface in, I mean, in a parabola like that. So if we put x equals to k, so put x equals to k, and we're gonna get, and just move it over to the other side, we're gonna get z equals, uh, y squared plus 4k. And uh, this is still a parabola, this is just a constant, this just means that the parabola is gonna be shifted. So this means that if we slice the graph with any plane parallel to the y, z plane, and uh, yeah, this one is at a shifted area uh, around. So we obtain a parabola that opens upward. And uh, I'll graph this all out, it'll make more sense. So similarly, if y equals k, the trace is, uh, so this is just k, we're gonna get z equals 4x squared plus k squared. Yeah, we'll get the trace is, uh, is gonna be z equals 4x squared plus uh, k squared, which is again a parabola that opens upward. Again, this just means it's shifted and so on. And, then, and there's no negative, so it's just going to be basic parabola just going upwards like that. So if we put z equals k, we get, and now if this is z equals to k like that, so this will be k equals to, um, yeah, this can be k equals 4x squared plus y squared. So if we put z equals k, we get the horizontal traces 4x squared plus y squared equals k, which we recognize as a family of ellipses. Yeah, this is just going to be ellipses because you could just move this over to the bottom and uh, as one of our, uh, as it's going to be instead of writing 4, you can write it as uh, x squared is 1 over 4, oh, yeah, divided by 1 over 4, and then you have the radius from that, and so on. And then this equals k, which we recognize as a family of ellipses, because again, again, you can divide k out into this, do that same thing, and have it equals to 1 there. So knowing the shapes of the traces, we can sketch the graph below. Yeah, so basically, basically we just have a 3D problem, all opening upwards and going up vertically uh, along the uh, z-axis. So we're going to have something that looks like this. I'll draw it more accurate this time. It looks like that. And then this goes up. So this is going to be our z. And then this is going to be dot 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 all the way but all the way to the bottom. And it's going to go like this. And that is our. Uh, it's going to be our x. It's going to be our y like that. And this is going to be. Um, yeah, this is going to be our shape, but let's look at the traces there. So when we put in x equals zero, we're going to have a hor uh, I mean, a vertical uh, plane that's going to be along this side, uh, where uh, x is always zero, so it's just along the y plane. Uh, so that means we're going to have, this is zero, we're going to have z equals y squared. So we're just going to have this exact uh, line right here, this, this one exactly. This from here to here is exactly what we get. All right, so, and that's already <laughs> in our shape there, so let's ignore that. And so the next one is uh, right here. If we have, if k, uh, yes, yeah, so if, if x equals to k now, yeah, if we have uh, x equals to k, well, before we even get that, this part right here is going to be at our uh, z equals to, um, it's going to be z equals y squared and x equals zero. But then if we had another line across uh, a plane like such, such that goes down like this one, we're going to get another parabola that opens up something like, like the, from that, it's going to open up uh, all the way across this part right here. Yeah, so that is a, just a vertical slice in this parabola opening upwards, and there's a shifted away from the origin there based on uh, this right here. When we plug in uh, x equals to k, we get z squared equals y squared plus a squared. So we could write this down right here, z, uh, z equals to y squared plus uh, yeah, four four k squared, like that. And in fact, four k squared is just going to be this height there, from here to here. <laughs> that's all it is, because you're just going to add it. So it's going to be probably up, add it, and then shift it upwards. So that's pretty cool stuff. All right, going uh, further. So the next setup is uh, we'll have if we have y equals k, the trace is z equals four uh, x plus y squared. So now it's opening up in the y section. So you're going to be cutting it up uh, this way here. So if we have y equals to k, so let's say we, we'll just do the basic one. So if we have, um, yeah, if we have y equals zero, it's going to cut it across like from here to here. It's going to look something like this. It's going to go, uh, I'll draw this uh, like this. 
Yeah, let's draw a cross like that. In red. And then it's going to go dash, dash, dash. All the way across here. Just behind that there. And this one is going to be our... Um, this is going to be our Z equals to... Um, this is going to be Z equals to 4X squared. You have 4X squared and then plus K squared. Plus K squared and this four like that. Yeah, uh, that four indicates that the it's not just going uh, it's not going up vertically in a parabola, but it's, uh, not just that, but it's also timesing it by four, so it's going even at a faster rate. So you'll have Z is increasing uh, by uh, four. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's going to be increasing as in a parabola X squared and then times it by four. So it's, in other words, it's going to be going vertically up. It's going to be more shrunken inwards like that. All right, and lastly is when we have z equals k, we get horizontal traces, so 4x squared plus y squared equals k, just an ellipse. So if we have it at uh, just a k part, we're going to get an ellipse. Uh, I'm going to draw it somewhere here. And then draw a dash light like that. It's going to look something like that. That's going to be our uh, ellipse. That's going to be at, uh, this is going to be 4x squared plus y squared equals to k, like that. and where uh, Z is equal to K. So that's our equation of the, that, that trace like that. It looks like that. All right, going further. So uh, here's a more clear image from my calculus book, just to, I guess I got it, uh, this is scribbled uh, all, a bunch of lines and so on. And, but anyways, it looks like this. There is our, uh, our paraboloid. So now uh, graphing in GeoGebra, uh, plug it in and it's the same, it's the same link. Um, and we're gonna get this right here, Z equals four X squared plus Y squared. And it looks just like, like this right here. And yes, this is more accurate. Than my previous one of the left side. Are you continuing uh, uh, further? So here's how it looks like. So you go above here. So you can go hide this. Sh show this one here. There is our uh, paraboloid or or whatnot. All right. So it looks pretty uh, epic there, and it's uh, squished one end. So that's cool stuff. And let's continue further. So because of the el elliptic and para parabolic traces, the quadratic surface Z equals four x squared. Plus y squared is called an, el an elliptic par paraboloid. So you have a, a par parabola going vertical, but then you have ellipses uh, around here. So it's like a cone. 